Hello, in order to boot Web Converger that I've copied, especially copied onto this USB key, you need to alter the BIOS. It's not as hard as uh, as it seems, so let's have a quick look at how to just try Web Converger right now. Putting into a USB slot and powering on the computer, every BIOS is unfortunately a bit different, but usually it's F12 to go into uh, to choosing the boot device. F12, boot menu, pressing F12, and here is the boot menu. It's giving a list of uh, different boot devices. Uh, floppy, um, LS120, not too sure what that is. The USB disk usually comes under hard disk or USB HDD. On this particular BIOS of this particular machine, I've discovered it shows under up under hard disk option. So here I have there's two hard drives on this machine, as well as the USB hard drive, which shows as the button store and go drive. So this is Web Converger. So if I select this, it should boot Web Converger. Which it does. Next, I'm going to show you how to persistently store this as your preference. Say you like Web Converger very much and you want to turn this machine into a kiosk. So every time it boots up, it boots to Web Converger, you need to go into the BIOS settings to set that up. It's pretty simple. To go into the BIOS settings, to make a persistent change, it's usually delete to get enter that BIOS menu. Delete. Now it says entering setup. And we have this sort of DOS style configuration menu. So here you need to find where um, the boot priority is set up. On my particular BIOS, of my particular PC, I've discovered it to be in advanced BIOS features. Here I can see um, the first boot device is disabled. The second boot device is the hard disk. So what that means is currently the setting is if there's no uh, US, if it, um, currently that means it, it, it boots the hard drive first. So what I'm going to change it to do is boot the USB hard drive first and then the hard disk. So that what would that mean is that if this disk is in the machine it boots Web Converger at first and if it isn't in the machine it will boot the default uh, hard drive in that machine. So when I select that press, pressing enter there's a whole range of uh, device devices I can choose from. I'm looking for the USB HDD option which is right here. I select that so first is USB HDD Web Converger if it's inserted into the USB slot. Next is the uh, hard disk. Third is the CD-ROM, which we won't be using. That looks fine. That's the only thing we need to change. Now we're looking to save and exit. In this case, it's F10. Save to CMOS and exit. Yes. Enter. And let's boot up the machine. So you can imagine if this was a kiosk, it's now configured to boot up straight into Web Converger and you don't have to do anything. Let's see if it does that correctly. And it does.